Hey homeschoolers, welcome to the Homeschool Sanity Show. My name is Dr. Melanie Wilson, Christian psychologist turned homeschooling mother of six. I am here to help you achieve happier, healthier homeschooling. This week is a very important topic that my readers told me that they struggle with. Before we get into that, I want to share with you the teaching tip of the week. The teaching tip of the week is to look for a discussion or learning guide to go along with any film your family plans to see. This week, I am sharing a discussion guide that goes along with the movie Smurfs The Lost Village. This is a Bible-based discussion guide that shares scriptures and biblical themes and then discussion questions to go along with this movie that is being released April 7th, 2017. If you can't find a discussion guide to go along with a movie that you plan to see, look on Pinterest and Google it. There is a very good chance that a blogger has created a learning guide to go along with a family film that you are interested in seeing. Some discussion questions that go along with this excellent guide are, what words would you use to describe yourself? How can you give those things to God? I love it. This is just excellent and it is free. If you would like a copy of this discussion guide, you can text me at 44 Two two two. the words Smurf Guide, that's S-M-U-R-F, Guide with no spaces. I would be happy to send this right to your inbox. Now let's discuss the topic of the week, which is why I know you are not a homeschool failure. The first reason I know you are not a homeschool failure is because God does not hold us accountable for results. He only holds us accountable for obedience. Throughout scripture, we see that that is the case. He has called me to homeschool my children, but he has not called me to make sure that my children have a flawless faith, that they're Rhodes scholars with full scholarships, and he certainly hasn't called me to ensure that my children are champions in every sport and activity that they undertake. But we can get confused about that, can't we? All God has asked me to do as a homeschooling mom is to homeschool my children. And so because I'm living in obedience to that call, I'm not a homeschool failure. Here's another reason we are not homeschool failures, simply because we feel like homeschool failures. This week, I have felt like a homeschool failure. Between hormones and stress and exhaustion, I have been feeling like a failure as a mom, a wife, a, as a cook, and definitely as a homeschooler but feelings aren't facts. So if that's you, if you're feeling like a failure because of your emotions, talk with some homeschooling girlfriends. In most cases, your homeschool girlfriend will laugh because she has been in the same exact place, or she will hug you and let you have a good cry. If you would like even more reasons to know that you are not a homeschool failure, I would love for you to listen to the podcast that you can find at ultimateradioshow.com forward slash no fail. That's all for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next week.